Let me tell you a story about a man whose name was Big Daddy Thomas. He was a man of his word. He promised to bring balance to the galaxy. Balance is only half, and that's trouble for him. Cause now half the Avengers are coming for him. And you know what? We're in the end game now. We're in the end game now. Ooh yeah. Hello YouTube, Ash here and welcome to another episode of Pressure Talks. Today I'm reviewing Avengers Endgame. Now please note this is a spoiler free review. Yes, spoiler free. So you can watch this if you haven't watched the film. But go watch the film. So anyway, let's get into it. Endgame is the conclusion to the Infinity Saga. 22 movies in the MCU which were this whole saga about the Infinity Stones. And it ends with Endgame. The film is directed by the Russo brothers and stars Robert Downey Jr., Scarlett Johansson, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth, Josh Brolin, uh, on and on and on. All these great actors as heroes that we've loved over the past 10 years. As this is a spoiler free review, I'm gonna have to be vague on a lot of stuff. However, do expect a spoiler review in a couple of days where I'll get more into detail. So the plot of the film, after Thanos wins in Infinity War, spoiler alert, he wipes out 50% of the galaxy. Now it's up to the remaining Avengers to try and stop him and hopefully bring their friends back. And that's the plot. I honestly love how Marvel market their films. In Affinity War they showed a lot of clips in the trailers that weren't in the films or were different than what was in the finished product. And that is cool because you know it didn't give anything away. They did the same here. Most of what you see in the trailers is in the film. However, it doesn't give anything away. What I will say is this film is really good. Now mostly the atmosphere of watching this film with a crowd and I'm gonna go into this definitely watch this film with a crowd of people. Don't watch it alone. You will lose so much if you watch it alone. There, This film is like a sporting event where you are cheering, where you are clapping, where you are having fun, where you are crying, where you are happy, you know, so much. And then you do it in a group of people. Oh my god, this was such an experience. I will say that this is the Avengers film. The last film, you know, Thanos. In fact, Thanos won in the last film. This is the Avengers. This is their film. This is them coming back and we're gonna take Thanos down. If you like the first Avengers and the second Avengers when it's the hero moments of the Avengers, then you're in a treat. And there are a lot of epic fan service moments where you really cheer and oh, it was, yes. Oh, this film, so many emotions. And also, yeah, you will tear up as well. I'm not spoiling anything, but you will cry, you will laugh, you will cry, you will cheer. Oh, full of emotion. And also the story, I like the storyline. I thought it was a very interesting story. And also, yeah, you haven't seen anything by seeing the trailers. You have no idea what's gonna happen. There's been lots of fan theory videos, you know, and all that stuff. Some of them got it right, some of them didn't get it right, some of them got a bit right, some of them got a lot right. But yeah, you haven't seen anything. I saw this film last night, I slept on it, I thought about it. And yes, there are a few little nitpicky things about the story, you know, certain things that happened and they couldn't happen. And again, in the spoiler video, I'll talk about that. But it takes nothing away from the overall story. All the Avengers get their time to shine. I definitely like Thor in this. I thought it was a really interesting spin. Again, I'll talk about that as a spoiler. And definitely Captain America. You know, in this one, he is, he is the man. You know, he has some of the most heroic moments and also Tony Stark. You know, all the, you know, the main Avengers, the six original Avengers. They are six, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, the focus is on the original six. They have their time to shine. It is their movie. I know 22 movies, there's been lots of different characters, but this is their movie. As with any big Marvel movie, I have to point out that Marvel take it for granted that you've seen the other films, that you know the story. So don't expect any uh, back story to these characters. 10 years, we know these characters. But yeah, if you're coming in to watch this as the first film, yeah, don't do that because you won't figure out what's going on. You'll still enjoy the film because it's still a good film. Also, as with any Marvel movie, there's a lot of humour in it. Now, despite, you know, everything that 
happens in Infinity War, there's still f plenty of humour to keep the audience entertained. So yeah, it keeps you chuckling, but it also, as I said, really gets emotional at times, especially towards the end. Again, in the spoiler video. As far as the technical aspects of the film, it's pretty enough perfect. All the special effects are great, the sets are great, the score is amazing, it carries on from Infinity War and adds some more music that really help drive every single scene. The specs, which I touched upon, look fantastic. You can tell that this is, without doubt, Marvel's biggest movie. Technically, it's perfect. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Marvel fan. It is. There's nothing wrong with any of those technical aspects. So before I give you my final rating for this film, let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite film in the MCU. And if you want to know mine, check out this video I did where I count down my top 10 films in the MCU. I collaborated with a lot of other YouTubers to do this video, so it's really cool, so check it out. So in conclusion, I will give this film an easy five out of a five. I had so much fun with this movie. I can't wait to watch it again. And I want to watch it with a crowd of people again because it was such an experience. It was like a football game with cheering and laughing and oh, so much fun to watch it with a crowd. This film is beautiful. It's funny. It's uh, exciting. It's emotional. It is just a great movie. Now I know I'm a Marvel fan, but I'm also a DC fan. I'm, all, I'm just a comic fan. But this is a great ending to the Infinity Saga. <sighs> yeah. Just watch this film. Just go watch this film. Of course, if you've seen Infinity War, you're going to watch it anyway. So you don't need me to tell you. But yeah, just go watch this film because it's... Oh, it's so good. It's... It is. So that's it. I want to thank you all for watching this video. As I mentioned, I will have a spoiler review up shortly where I can talk about 90% of the stuff I can't talk about in this video. So be on the lookout for that. And also, if you're new to the channel and like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and also like this video. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Endgame. Endgame. Bye-bye.